as the commanding officer, I am responsible both for the platform and its material state, as well as all of the sailors and officers on board. There are a lot of stakeholders in building the ship and, and getting it to where it is. It's very important for the ship's company to be involved in that process of designing and developing and refining the ship, of setting parts of it to work and then working through that activation. And a level of comfort and trust that gets built up through a period of time working alongside them. I have about 40 sailors that are based down here at the moment as my ship's company, but working closely alongside test and activation and trials people. On top of that, my 140 odd other personnel that are based in Sydney are rotated through here. I grew up in country Victoria and I didn't come from a specifically military family at all. I was pretty active in sports and outdoor activities and initially as a very young fellow I considered joining the army. Interestingly in my hometown there was no army cadet unit but there was a navy cadet unit. When I finished my uni studies I applied to join the navy. I actually worked as a maritime warfare officer. When you're in the military and in the navy you are actually part of something that is bigger than yourself deployed to the Middle East uh, on three separate occasions now. And those sorts of periods where you're incredibly focused on what you're trying to do and the ship is working to a very clear goal, even in a very uncertain environment, it's hard to describe. Well, the ship hums, the ship works, it's all just happening. But when it's there, you can almost feel it. My name is Josh Wilson and I'm the Commanding Officer of the Second Air Warfare Destroyer, New Ship Brisbane, built in Osborne Shipyard in South Australia.